brachial plexus. It is a plexus of nerves formed mainly from the cervical 5, 6, 7, 8th and the first thoracic nerve. It supplies the upper limb. It is formed by roots, trunks and the cords which gives many branches. The plexus lies in the lower part of the neck, behind the clavicle and in the axilla. The roots lies in the neck and formed by five roots. The trunks lies in the neck also and formed by three trunks. Upper trunk is formed by fifth and sixth cervical nerves. The middle trunk formed by seventh cervical nerve alone, while the lower trunk is formed by eighth and the first thoracic nerve. Each trunk divides into anterior and the posterior divisions behind the clavicle. Then the cords of the brachial pelix is formed by three cords in the axilla as following. Posterior cord is formed by three posterior divisions of the trunks. Lateral cord is formed by anterior divisions of the upper and the middle trunks. Medial cord is formed by anterior division of the lower trunk alone. This is the roots of the brachial plexus, fifth and sixth cervical, forming the upper trunk. The seventh alone forming the middle trunk. The eighth and the first thoracic forming lower trunk. This stage lies in the root of the neck. Then behind the clavicle, each trunk divides into anterior and the posterior division. The three posterior divisions united to form the posterior cord, while the anterior division of the upper and the middle trunk forming the lateral cord, the anterior division of the lower trunk forming the medial cord. Branches of the brachial plexus will have many branches from the roots and branches from the trunks, branches from the cords. The branches from the roots are, number one, nerve thromboid muscles, the nerve to subclavius muscle. The third one is long thoracic nerve, which is to supply the serratus anterior muscle. And then branches from the trunks, only one nerve arises from the upper trunk, called the suprascapular nerve. This is the uh, roots of the brachial plexus, and this is the trunks. This stage lies in the, at the lower part of the neck. Then divisions of the trunks behind the clavicle, the cords lies in the axilla. The branches from the cords of the brachial plexus Number one, branches from the medial cord are five branches. Number one is the ulnar nerve. Number two, medial pectoral. Number three, medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. Number four, medial cutaneous nerve of the arm. And the fifth and last one, medial root of the median nerve. The lateral cord gives the three nerves. Number one is the musculocutaneous nerve. Number two, lateral pectoral nerve. Number three, lateral root of the median nerve. The posterior cord gives five branches, upper and the lower subscapular nerves, then axillary nerve, the nerve to latissimus dorsi, then radial nerve. The axillary nerve, sometimes called the circumflex nerve. This is branches of the cords of the brachial plexus. This is musculocutaneous nerve from the lateral cord. And this is lateral pectoral, small, and this is lateral root of the median nerve. Then the medial cord gives medial cutaneous nerve of the arm and the forearm, then ulnar nerve, this is the ulnar nerve, and the medial root of the median 
nerve. The posterior cord gives the upper and the lower subscapular placodorsal, then circumflex or axillary nerve, lastly the radial nerve. The brachial plexus injury. This is mainly during delivery. Number one, herpes paralysis, which injury to the fifth and the sixth cervical nerve or upper trunk of the brachial plexus. This is during a difficult delivery or fall on the shoulder in the adult. It is associated with lack of shoulder motion or movements. The involved limb lies adducted, internally rotated. The forearm is pronated, and this deformity called waiter's tip. Sometimes it is called policeman tip position. Grasp reflex is usually present. But the injury of the lower trunk of the brachial plexus called clumps paralysis. This is due to injury of the lower trunk of the brachial plexus caused by severe traction due to excessive abduction of the arm during the delivery also or falling from height in the adult. The result is weakness of the intrinsic muscles of the hand and the clothed appearance of the hand. The, the grasp reflex is absent, but in the herpes, Paralysis grasp reflex is present. This is herpes paralysis. This is deformity. And this is clumps paralysis. This is the deformity of the clumps paralysis. This is due to injury of the upper trunk of the brachial plexus. And this is injury of the lower trunk of the brachial plexus. This is how the injury happened. This is traction on the shoulder during the delivery, or and this is traction on the arm during the delivery also. Then axillary nerve injury or circumflex nerve. There is paralysis for deltoid muscle and the roundness of the shoulder become flat. The shoulder is rounded like that. But this is deformity, it's flat, and this is called the flat shoulder. When there is injury of the longothoracic nerve or nerve to serratus anterior muscle, there is winging of the scapula because serratus anterior keeps the scapula applied to the thoracic wall. 